welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. We are about to get the show going. So, a couple quick announcements before we get started. Um, first and foremost, I will never reach out to you. Please don't get scammed by scammers on social media, media or any place else. Second, um, this show does air on a number of <clears throat> live streaming stations, on a number of television stations, um, almost every podcast and radio stations. Please keep that in mind when you're asking your questions. And third, I'm going to be going through answering calls on the call log. If you would like to be part of the call log, the number is 845-277-9130. Yep, 845-277-9131. You can call in, ask a question, or connect with a loved one on the other side. Um, and if you are watching on one of the streaming channel channels, listening on a podcast or a radio station, and you'd like to join us live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. I also, I also am doing a show this Saturday evening at 10 p.m. Central. So if you'd like to join us, ask questions, join the chat on YouTube at any of those times. Absolutely amazing. Would love to have you do that. I want to say hi to everybody who is in the chat right now. So that would be D. Hey, D. Uh, welcome to the show. Heather, uh, Fawn. I think there was somebody else up here. And uh, hey, you guys. Um, Genevieve, Patrick. How's Carmel, uh, California, Patrick? And um, yeah. And uh, so thank you guys for being here in the chat. And I do, D, I do take questions in the chat. I alternate them with questions for people who call in. People on the call in have been waiting, oh, let's see, you know, for, for at least 15 minutes before the show even starts. Okay. Hey, Todd, welcome to the show. Okay. I'm going to get going with callers. When I call your area code, please tell me your name and where you're calling from. You're, just your first name is good and where you're calling from. Hey, Lolly, how are you today? I'm going to, the first caller I'm going to take is 919. What's your name? Where are you calling from? <clears throat> Hi, thank you for taking the call. Happy New Year. My name is Sandra K, but I go by my middle name K, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Sandra. Thank you so much for calling in today. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you so much. Excellent. How can I help you today, love? Um, I have a question regarding romance. Um, I had met some um, a, lady, a young lady a few months back, and um, was really interested. Um, but things things have fizzled out. And I'm just wondering, do you see love coming through? Something for my greatest and highest good. Something yeah. helping coming through. Okay, so. Yeah. Sandra, I'm going to ask that if you have me on speaker or you're moving the phone around, please keep it like kind of phone to your face while you're talking to me. Okay. I don't always like having people keep their phone okay. to their face because of, you know, all the Wi-Fi and all the other stuff that goes. But just for the couple minutes, once we're done talking, you can put me back on, you know, take me, take the phone away from your face and put it back on speaker. So do I think, Sandra... So, uh, I think your question is, do I see when, when will someone come in for you? Is that your basic question? That is correct. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing I hear, oh my gosh, it's so fun. I wish you guys sometimes could hear what I hear. Um, because I crack up and I'm like, feel like I'm laughing and nobody knows why. But the first thing I hear is she's a coming, she's a coming, she's a coming. <laughs> so someone <laughs> is, someone is on their way to you. Make no mistake. 
Now, I'm hearing and pay attention and pay close attention. I am hearing someone is coming in March, okay, which is not that far off. Oh, it's it's really not that far off. March is pretty close. Um, and I'm hearing she ain't the one. But, however, there is something to learn from her. If you, um, I, oh, I hear that. I, I'm hearing that song. She be something... I'm going to say the words I'm hearing, even if these are not the um, accurate words. She be learning her men and, okay. and she be burning her men. Um, I, I don't know the rest. But anyway, you're just going to kind of go through this person, not go through this person. Don't don't let it sound like that. But you're going to meet this person. Okay. You're going to have some interactions with this person and you're going to realize really quickly um, you're going to go from day to night with this person. You're going to think um, this person is the one. And then you're going to flip like the next day and go, no, she ain't the one. Um, because when you when you step away from this person, you're going to realize, holy, uh, there are so many other naughty words that came through. I'm going to choose to use the word guacamole. Holy guacamole. She's a whole okay. case. She's a whole <laughs> She's a whole case. I mean, she ain't even half a case. She'd be okay. the whole case. And it's not a good case. It's like a cold okay. case. <laughs> okay. Jesus, somebody on the other side is like so uh, uh, so funny for you. And uh, okay, so then they want to say in June, though, however, in June, given the fact that you like sit down, you assess your past relationships. This is what I love. This is what I liked. This is what I can do without and, and kind of work on be, being where you want to be in June. Somebody's coming through and the person coming through in June. I, I don't want to say that. Um, every time I say this to to someone, they, they will sabotage it, but they're going done, 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 meaning it has the potential to be a long term relationship. Whether you believe in marriage or not, that's yeah. that's not what that's necessarily I do. I do. about. It has the potential to be a long term relationship. That doesn't mean on the second date you move in together and call it a done deal. You know, take, take all those steps. Right, right. You know, those beginning steps, those dating steps, those courting each other steps, those getting to know each other steps, they're so important. They're so very important. Right. If for no other reason, they're the amazing stories that we tell later on in life. Like, remember that time? Um that we yada 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 you know remember that whatever it is whatever it is right so you want to um right. you want to have those and i do feel like this person is has really good energy very vivacious somebody who really likes to be out and about um but sh uh, this person is going to be um also, uh, very clear, healthy boundaries. Okay. <sighs> okay. I hope okay. that I hope that's helpful, love. I hope that's helpful. It has. It has. Has so I have not met either of these two people yet. Nope. They're both brand new people. People you've you don't know, and they are <clears throat> both coming in but at separate times intentionally okay they're coming in but okay. at separate okay. times intentionally yes okay wonderful perfect wonderful. perfect okay all right th thank you very much oh my goodness thank you so much for calling in and please call us back and let us know keep us posted on how this goes okay i will thank you <laughs> thank you so much thank you Okay, I'm going to go to the very next caller who is um, 
571. 571, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, this is Dee, coming from Washington, D.C. How are you? Hey, Dee, I'm doing well. Hello? Yep, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Excellent. How can I help you, Dee? My question is, I am presently working. However, I'm looking for new opportunities, preferably with the federal government. But if that's not the case, um, can you tell me what type of energy you're seeing around that? Okay. So, Dee, the first, the first thing I'm hearing is... Um, you're, if you, you know, there's a potential and I always use the word potential because we have free will. And although we might want to change, we, we don't always like change. We, we might get an opportunity, but we don't take it. There's a, or, or we just decide, ah, I'm going to, I'm going to ride this out a little bit longer. I'm seeing there's the potential for something late February into March, there's the potential for this um, opportunity with work to come in late February, early March. And that when this comes in, um, I feel like it's something you should seriously look at and seriously examine. I do feel like it will be a really good opportunity for you. I feel like you hear about this. Um, yeah, you hear about this. Uh, now, what, if you're using some sort of recruiter or headhunter, you might hear about it from them. But if you're not using that, you're definitely going to hear about this. And you may hear about it from like a friend or a friend of a friend but you're definitely going to hear about this opportunity. They're not saying you're going to see it or find it. They're saying you're going to hear about it. When you hear about it, you might poo-poo it, maybe because of the person it's coming from, maybe because of something else. What I'm going to tell you is look at this opportunity. Even if it comes in early February, even if you, whenever you hear about an opportunity, look into it. You might hear about this opportunity, let's just say this week, but it's not going to be available till February, March. Now, I, whenever you hear about it, look into it and jump on it. I do feel like it's going to be, they're saying it's going to be a great opportunity for you. I'm saying it's going to be, but well, they're saying amazing. I don't like to oversell things. Because, you know, you know, anyway, um, I do feel like, though, if you take this opportunity, everything will flow forward and you'll be very happy with it. OK, love. Awesome. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. You are so welcome. And you have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you for calling in and calling back. You guys, I thank you again, Dee, so much. Thank you. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. I want to say, you know, every once in a while when I'm doing the call log, if I'm going back and forth, I will definitely um, get lost and, you know, miss a caller. And I missed D one day. And she called me. She was like, hey, you know, you said you thought you got me and you didn't. So I'm so happy she called back. I'm so happy that I was able to uh, talk with her. And I see, I don't know if um, my call log is having a little bit of trouble today because I'm, I'm seeing it's um, stalling. So as I'm clicking on callers and clicking off of them, I see it stalling. So while that catches up for a moment, um, and hopefully it will, hopefully that will not be a uh, an issue for the day, but I'm going to go, we have some questions on YouTube. So I'm going to go to the questions on YouTube and answer those questions if I can. Um, I'm going to go to Erin. Erin has a question and Erin's question is, and excuse me for 
the way I read the print is small. So to me, to me, the print is small. <laughs> um, uh, hi, Tony. Do you see me owning a short term rental? Owning a short term rental? If so, will it happen this year? What states do you see me owning a short term rental in? Um, Erin, I'm just going to be really honest with you and say I do not understand that question. And I really, oh, an Airbnb. Thank you, Erin. I'm so happy you're still here. Okay. Thank you for rephrasing that. Um, so you're looking for a property that can possibly be a, uh, like you can convert to an Airbnb. So the first, I hear two areas right away. I hear two areas and Erin, I'm going to give you a little flip to the Airbnb thing and pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. The first place I hear is um, Florida and more so the Tampa area. But the second place I hear is Texas. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know which one. Yeah, I did hear Florida first. And then I heard Texas. And Texas being a corporate rental place. Girl, if you're a girl, girl. If you're a guy, dude. Yes. 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 Um, if you find a property in... Texas, that's near a lot of corporations that is reasonable. Um, you can do corporate rental. And these corporations will you I think you're I think you're pretty with it. You can catch on to what I'm saying there. Um, so those are the two areas that I'm hearing. That's what I would look into if I were you, um, the Tampa Bay area and the um, uh, Texas area. Um, those are the, the, the areas. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you, Erin. Thank you so much for asking that question on air. I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 520. <clears throat> and if you would like to call in, the number is... Hi. 845-277-9131. Hey, um, 520, what's your name and where are you calling from? Lisa, Arizona. Hi. Hey there. How can I help you today? Well, I'm wondering if I'll have a Valentine <laughs> intimate relationship <laughs> with Daniel. I'm sorry. Um. Again, if you're holding the phone away from your face or on speaker or something like oh, that. Oh, I'm trying to do everything correctly here. So you don't, how's that? How's that? It's a little yeah. better. And I'm going to yeah, say better. it might not be you. It might be the connection with the switchboard today with the call-in um, because everybody is like cutting in and out. So I apologize and I understand. So sure. you, do you want to know? So I want to make sure I'm understanding your question. Do you want to know, are you going to have a partner? Are you going to have like a be coupled with up? Daniel? Oh. I, uh with a very specific yeah. person named Daniel. Okay. Sexual all works. <laughs> with Daniel. <laughs> Cause I and I'm laughing again because I'm hearing the song. Let's get it on. Um so you want to know if by Valentine's Day you and Daniel are going to be intimate. I, I, you know, I hear, in or I'm sorry, you know, by then are we moving towards there? Because he said a lot of stuff and I'm like, I don't know. I, I would be available to that. Okay. So the first thing I hear and for what it's worth, um, I hear extenuating circumstances, whatever that means for your situation or his situation. There are extenuating circumstances in this thing 
and um, somebody has to clean or should clean something up before they move forward. So it's possible, and I'm not saying this is the, the case, that there's some residual energy from the last situation somebody was in or they're trying to end the situation or still kind of in a situation that maybe not completely knowing about. The other situation that this could mean is that maybe maybe still just actively dating and if the two of you are not full on committed to each other, it, it's fair that this person would still be actively dating and trying to make up their mind of which direction they wanna go. But what I am really hearing is somebody needs to clean something up before they start something new. Or they, they, And clean something up, to me, is more of a... It, they're not saying they need to end something. They're saying they need to clean something up before they get into something new. So whatever that means for your situation, be patient with this. Um, be very patient with this because the last thing you want is if somebody's not completely done with another situation, you don't want them, mm, you know, pulling you into something that if that's the case. Now, what I'll say is, yes, it's possible for you two to get your freak on before or on Valentine's Day. Just make sure that both of you are in the place where you know where you want this to move going forward. And you're both on the same page. Because I feel like, I feel like that um, he, okay, I'm trying to do something online. Okay, I feel like, Somebody might be down for the dog, but not for the road trip. Okay, so just make sure that moving forward, you're both on the same page. You're both thinking the same direction. And listen, listen, I get it. I get it. Um, and I'm hearing that song by, I don't know who it's by, but it's like, dog player, I get it. You know, fraud player, I get it. You're not a man, you're not a man. I understand, I understand. Um, and and, and I, I'm just going to say this. Whether this is him or you or something else going on in the situation, the biggest message they're giving me about this situation, <laughs> they are so funny. I wish I had, like, signs that popped up behind me to let people know, like, I hear, warning, Will Rogers, warning. Um, as I try to buffer this and make it sound better, they're like, oh no, oh no, you don't get to dumb this one down. You're going to stay strong with it. What I'm just going to tell you, um, be, I don't know, even people can say things. It's really easy to talk. And in the moment of a good conversation, we can say things, but we might not, they might not be like in the next moment um, what we are thinking. I, and if I go back to the very beginning of this, because I'm getting lost and trying not to be so blatant and blunt about this situation, um, I'm just going to say the possibility to get it on is there. However, Make sure both of you are on the same page for what you want moving forward. If you just want to one and done or do the deed or whatever you want to call it, yeah, that's a definite possibility. If you want to move into something more monogamous, serious with a future, you really have to have those conversations and let him show you that's it. Because again, there's something that's not cleaned up with one of you. And I'm assuming it's not you. I'm assuming, I'm guessing you're cleaned up and ready to move forward 
where somebody might have something lingering or kind of does this in and out sort of thing. Okay. So that is what I'm getting about that situation. I know that's not the, maybe not the, 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 the answer you were looking for, but it's definitely the answer you need and the answer you should pay attention to. And having said this, this is what I'm going to tell you now. Having said that, you're going to be able to, if you do so choose, pay attention to what he's not saying. Ooh, that is not at all what I was going to say to you. So that's pretty interesting in and of itself. Pay attention to what he's not saying and watch his behaviors, okay? I hope that's helpful. I really, really hope that's helpful. Yeah. Okay, sweetie. Okay, thank you. We, you are so welcome. We have a lot of contact with each other. I you know, I get that. Okay, hours and hours together. I okay, okay, okay. And here's what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm I'm gonna say. Um, this is this is what I'm gonna say. Um, men. In general, in general, men are not shrinking violets. In general, and I excuse my my if this sounds crass, I apologize. And unless a guy's a micro size, whatever disappointment. If that's a disappointment to women, I don't know. Maybe to some, it probably <laughs> they're playing that stupid song. I don't want no teeny weeny, blah, 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 blah. Men can't help that. It's not their fault. Whatever. Let's get past that spirit. Um, usually, when it comes to intimacy, men are not so shy to not make that particular move. I mean, we're not 16. We're not. We're not 16. They're not fumbling their hands trying to figure out how to undo a little bra, right? Because we're not 16. We've done the deed. We've do dove the dog, however you want to say it. It's not his first rodeo. It shouldn't be. If you're spending this much time together and you have given him the green light and they know what the green light is, they know, they know when we're like, Ooh, yeah, you know, we're, we're leaning in, we're letting them know, right? Um, there's a reason for that. And maybe he is trying to clean up something else. Maybe he is trying to make sure he's healthy enough to take this, whatever it is, whether it's energetically clean up something, making sure he's over the last thing, whatever it is. I'm, I'm just going to say there's a reason it hasn't gone there yet. I love each and every one of you so very stinking much. I cannot wait to come in and do a nighttime show with everybody. Thank you. Thank you.